Hi guys, it's Grace with Grace Gets Gastric. Today is Friday, November 2nd, and I am here today for my 10-month post-op VSG update. To start off with stats, my name is Grace. I am 5'8", 27 years old, and on January 2nd, 2018, I had the vertical sleeve gastro gastrectomy or VSG weight loss surgery. My highest weight ever recorded was 354 pounds in May of 2017. I was required by my insurance to do a six month medically supervised weight loss diet. And over the course of that six months, I lost 35 pounds. So my starting weight day of surgery was 319 pounds. Last month, I came at you with a weight of 215.5 pounds. And this morning I weighed in at 209.7. So that is a monthly loss of 5.8 pounds a loss since surgery of 109.3 pounds, and a loss since my highest weight of 144.3 pounds. For those of you who um, are regular watchers of my channel, um, if you caught my most recent weekly update video, you'll note that that is about three pounds higher than I was two days ago, or three days ago, which i um, not super happy about. Uh, between Tuesday and today, uh, Halloween happened and I was actually not too bad with Halloween candy but um there was a lot there was basically three different bake sales at my work and uh all of the leftovers were brought into br brought to our department um the ones that didn't sell um so my impulse control was not great I ate a lot of cookies um yeah, so I'm sorry, I'm like really tired and kind of spacey today and uh, had therapy today and I, it's kind of making me feel meh. I mean, in a good way, like we talked a lot about um, kind of my hoarding impulses and why I kept eating cookies even when they didn't taste good and all of that. So um, yeah, I mean, it's still a loss for the month. I'm happy about that. Not thrilled about being three pounds up. Uh, I know that that's mostly just water weight from eating significantly more carbs than I normally do. There might be some actual weight gain in there, but uh, I feel confident I'll come off as I get back on track. Um, so let's go over measurements. Um, I'll go ahead and put my thing thingamabob up on the screen. So this month I lost one inch from my bust. Uh, zero inches for my chest, uh, two inches for my waist, an inch and a half from my hips, uh, one and a half inches for my thighs, an inch from my calf, uh, 0.25 from my bicep, and 0.75 from my neck. So that is a total inches lost this month of eight. So eight inches this month and a total since surgery of 73.75. So that is crazy cool. That's like one of the biggest inch loss inches lost in a month that I've had in a long time. Um, so that does make me feel good. I mean, I've lost six pounds in a month, um, but I've got like a lost eight inches, you know, places. I definitely feel it. My clothes already, some of my clothes feel loose or looser than they did. Um, so my body's changing eee. and all of that is good. A couple of other things. NSCs, I guess, that have, have happened. Um, I've talked about being able to cross my legs, and um, I've been able to do that for a while, but I would say that this past month is when it's become, like, really comfortable for me. Like, I was able to do it, and it was fine, but, like, it would sometimes be a little bit too much pressure on my leg from my knee, um, but I feel like now it's actively comfortable, which is so strange. Um, also... The other day, actually yesterday, I wore a shirt, not yesterday, I don't know, Wednesday, I wore a shirt with the tag, the tag was hanging out, um, because I hadn't tried it on yet, and I meant to take it out before I wore it, but I didn't, and one of my coworkers was like, oh, you know, you have a tag, and before, she would have said that, and then I would have, like, turned around and, like, dealt with it myself, um, it's like, I wouldn't have wanted her to see my size, and this time, like, she's like, oh, I've got scissors, I can take it out for you. And, like, I just stood there and, like, she was, like, it got kind of caught. So she was looking at the back of my neck for um, a while and, like, at the tag. And I didn't feel anything about it. Like, it was just a thing. I was like, she can know that I'm a large. It's fine. Um, 
so yeah that was kind of cool um you'll also know again if you've been watching my videos that this month i've had some struggles i've been feeling better the past week uh, the past couple of weeks and then this week has been kind of a roller coaster i think just because of all the sugar i it just doesn't hit, affect me well and the thing is it's like i know this you don't have to tell me this guys in the comments i know i don't react well to sugar it doesn't make me feel good i'm working on it <laughs> on on remembering that or like caring about it at the time because I you know the me who's like I'm gonna eat five cookies with like and you can't stop me and then I'm like well I feel like shit now and emotionally unstable uh, but that's a whole other story I definitely do feel better when I'm limiting my sugar intake and I just need to constantly tell myself this and remind myself of the trade-off. Um, but yeah, mental, emotional roller coaster still in full effect. Mostly on the upswing, though. I feel like this, I feel like the past few days have been kind of a, a fluke, a Halloween-induced fluke. Um, but yeah, uh, sorry, this video is not going to be stellar, but um, I honestly, like, it was one of those it's rare where I'm like, I don't want to make a video. Normally I'm just like, it's fine. But today it's not even like, I don't want to make it for, for like a emotional reason. I don't want to make it because I'm just really tired, like exhausted. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, my goals. So goal wrap up, um, for October, um, I wanted to work on my grazing and work on trying to stay below a thousand calories. I did all right, okay on both. Um, could have been better. I was better the past like two weeks, um, but not this week. So I was better last week. <laughs> um, work in progress. It, I mean, I'm, I'm doing well, but like, it's not perfect. Um, I also wanted to register for a 5k and start the couch to fit 5k program. I did both of those. Um, I've got my 5k coming up on Thanksgiving day. I wanted to continue to go to the gym two to three times a week. Um, continue to do my yoga on Sundays. Uh, did the gym two to three times a week. I have not been great about yoga. I've only gone once this past month. Um, just be for a variety of reasons, being out of town and then I wasn't feeling well. And then I was just bad and skipped and I'm feeling it. I do feel like less, I feel more tense and tight. Um, so I'm for sure going this weekend. I think it's really good for me. So I want to make that a priority. Um, I've been continuing to do my Tuesday, Thursday workouts, gone to, um, my, uh, Saturday workouts as well. My body pump classes. So that's all good. And then as usual, I want to try to hit 8k steps. And for once, I actually hit that goal. My average was, I believe, 8.7K, um, which was awesome. Um, I had a couple of very active days and yeah, I'm excited about it. So for November, I want to continue working on the grazing and the uh, staying at my calorie goal, which is a thousand calories, um, and be more mindful of that. Um, continue to do my couch to 5K and then, you know, actually run my 5K. My Low-key goal would be to run it, uh, run and walk, jog it in 45 minutes, um, which would be a, approximately a 15-minute mile, which is less than I have been doing on my Couch to 5K, but I have not been running a 5K straight. So I don't know that I can maintain my, I'm like at an 11-minute, 20-second mile. I don't think I can maintain that for three miles. So 45 minutes is my goal. I will, of course, keep you guys updated on how that goes. Um, I want to continue doing my gym two to three times a week, uh, and do my yoga on Sundays. Um, and then I want to get to 8k steps again. Uh, the other thing will be, I've got Thanksgiving coming up. I'm not too worried about it. We're hosting, well, I'm hosting at my house. It's just my sister, my mom, and my mom's boyfriend. Um, and so because I'm hosting, like, I can control what we're eating. So... We'll have some kind of meat. We'll have for sure ribs, possibly turkey. My sister doesn't like turkey, so, um, and like, I like all meat, so I'm not too picky about it. We're going to have, um, zucchini and Brussels sprouts 
and um, my sister, we're going to have this mac and cheese my sister likes, and I don't like it anyways, so I'm not going to be bothered by that. And um, I think that might be it for sides. Like, we're not going to do a big whole thing because uh, it's just going to be a couple of us. So it's not, like, I, I mean, I'll probably have, we're going to have some kind of pumpkin pie. I'm thinking I'm going to make my own pumpkin dessert that's a little bit better. I mean, I wouldn't, I'm not going to be upset if I have a slice, a small slice of pumpkin pie, to be honest, but I might just make something and eat that instead because uh, I've had pumpkin desserts that I've made that are delicious, so I might do that instead. We'll see. It's honestly going to depend on the time because I am doing a 5k that morning and um, yeah. So sorry for this video, um, I, but we do have to do one more thing before we go and that is my comparison photos, the best part. So um, you'll see me here from the front. Um, I don't feel like I see a big difference. I mean, for all the inches that I've lost, I feel like I look bigger in this month's photo, which could be the angle and like the different bra I'm wearing. But yeah, I feel like I look bigger. But anyways, side photo. I mean, you can definitely see there's a huge difference from the day before surgery. Um, so again, if I think I don't think I mentioned this. Sorry, Spacey. Um, You'll see the day before surgery, you'll see me last month, and then you'll see me for this month. So yeah, that's me. That is my changing self. Uh, that is the same shirt and pants, and um, I'm getting to a point where I might need to retire them, but uh, I just need to find something similar. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry that this video is not... Um, as maybe together as I'd like, but, uh, you know, you win some, you lose some. I am still planning to do a giveaway for hitting a thousand subscribers. I've been debating about maybe like combining it with my one year post-op, which I know is in two months, but, um, that way I can kind of like, we can get through the holidays. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys. I love you all. Uh, you are the best. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.